On the outskirts of Evanston, Indiana, along the Ohio River, stand the remnants of a much older city within 12-foot surrounding walls that was home to up to 1,000 people at its height. What is left of this city can be seen at the Angel Mounds State Historical Site, once the farm of Matthias Angel. The site was purchased from the descendants of the Angel family in 1938 with a donation from Eli Lilly, and excavations under the direction of the archaeologist Glenn A. Black began in 1939 with funding from the Work Projects Administration. A reconstruction of the WPA office of Glenn A. Black begins the tour of the Interpretive Center. Visitors are presented with scenes of life in the settlement and are able to see some of the 2.3 million artifacts uncovered by the excavations, including a reconstruction of the 12-foot-high palisade wall with bastions made of wattle and daub construction. Included are examples of residential houses of wattle and daub with grass thatched roofs based on Glenn A. Black's hypotheses. The site is the largest Middle Mississippian site in Indiana, and the principal town of a group of sites known as the Angel Sites. The people there were farmers, growing maize, beans, and squash, as well as hunting and fishing. In addition to the residential houses, the people built open-walled summer houses for gathering and meeting in small groups in the warmer months.
Agricultural products were stored in raised cribs to keep them safe from vermin between harvest seasons. Pottery found at the site is indicative of the culture of the time and shows the changes between cultural phases. The Angel Phase, which is from approximately 1000 CE to 1450 CE, was preceded by the Hunter Gatherer Man community, which lasted from 100 CE to 500 CE, and the Yankee Town community that introduced maize cultivation between 700 CE and 1250 CE and it was followed by the Cabor and Wellborn community from 1400 CE to 1700 CE, each with a distinctive set of artifacts. Outside, the visitors can see an example of the agricultural practices in the Three Sisters' garden, where using simple digging sticks and shell hoes, the people grew beans that climbed corn stalks while squash plants gave ground cover to black out weeds. Past the garden, the site contains 13 mounds with six platform mounds and some smaller conical and ridge mounds, the largest mound being the central mound, Mound A. Reconstruction shows how the encircling 12-foot palisade with bastions may have appeared in the location where the archaeology shows the original mound was built. Besides the circling palisade, there was an inner wall separating the site into two sections.
Mound L, located near the reconstructed palisade, is an example of a ridge mound and work to make a terrace near the channel that runs around the back of the site. The site also has several smaller residential neighborhoods, one of which has a reconstruction of a typical house frame. Mound A, the central mound, is thought to have been the home of the hereditary chief. Mound A is built in two levels, and in one corner of the upper level, there is a smaller conical mound. Mound I, located by the lower platform of Mount A, is very low and hard to see due to later farming activities of the Angel family. And Mounds D and K are also low mounds. Between the larger mound C and the central mound A, there was an open plaza for the community to gather in for festivities and meetings. The sides of the central mound, as well as much of the rest of the site, are left unmowed to prevent erosion of the structures, and visitors are asked to remain on the mowed pathways including the two levels of the central mound and the slope between, where it is believed there was once a log stairway. The conical mound on top of Mound A is believed to have been a burial mound, possibly for the chieftains.
By climbing to the top platform of the central mound, visitors can get a good panoramic view of the entire site. Thank you for joining us on our tour of the Angel Mounds State Historic Site.